So, um, uh, like I said, we're going to have, uh, we'll start, I would request Professor P. J. Narendra uh, to just share some kind of reflections from the early days of the Institute. Good evening uh, to everyone who has uh, come here to share our joy in this 25th anniversary of IIIT. Uh, I just noticed all four people sitting on the on the dais are board members, so we are the the part of the institute. Uh, I and and I see all the past uh, you know, well wishers and people who are involved in different ways uh, with with the institute. The the very early the corporate schools which we are celebrating, especially today, but also uh, Ajay Sani, B V R Mohan Reddy, who all are, have been played different roles for the institute from the from the beginning. So. This institute was founded under a, a new or unknown model, at least for India. This, is, this was initiated and founded by the government of, then government of Andhra Pradesh, the state government, but it was not a government institute. It was not a private institution either in the sense of, you know, an institute that is managed by a family foundation or a bunch of people. So we like to call it neither private nor government, but a public institution. I like to say of the society, for the society, and by the society. So, when it was founded, uh, you know, we have had lots of many hours of conversation with Ajay Sani and uh, R. Chandrasekhar uh, about these models. Um, it is, you know, so so apparently there was a story that uh, R. Chandrasekhar said in the beginning when we were signing or starting. It was Srini or somebody asked him, "Sir, aren't you giving us?" Uh, some money for running the institute for at least first uh, few years. So he's supposed to have said that, uh, no, not giving it and you will thank me for it 15 years from now. <laughs> so 10 years, uh, 15 years after we are set up, the PPP IIIT's model loosely after our uh, model, at least uh, Ajay Sani and, Ajay and, and Rajiv Sangal played a role in preparing the DPR. And those institutions had Initial capital given by state government plus the central government plus some portion by the, pri the private partners. But 10 crores of uh, OPEX for the first five years or so were given by the government. And, you know, governments are very tough management. It's uh, the, the private family foundations are much easier management than, than government as management. So after 10 years, and now those institutions, some of them behave exactly, or some of them are behave like government institutions, some of them want to be semi-government institution, but the model became unclear, and that's probably what R. Chandrasekhar meant, that you would thank me 15 years from now for not making us, you know, not giving any money, because government can give you one rupee and, and claim a lot more out of you, okay? So we have, on the other hand, we have our institute run by an enlightened governing council, and of which, uh, so far, we have had Professor Raj Reddy as the good fortune of having him as the chair. In fact, the story that Ajay Sani sells is the CM decided that the, he'll give a go to the institute only if he gets Professor Raj Reddy to agree to play a strong role in the institute. So that was a precondition. And uh, the enlightened board includes you know, two members from the from the state government, uh, the IT secretary, currently principal secretary, uh, Jayesh Anjan, and the education secretary. But otherwise, three academics, three industry, NASCOM president, so NASCOM was a founding partner, um, so NASCOM president, and an IIT director, etc. So it's an enlightened board that appoints itself and that controls all the affairs. That was the design. But I would have, you know, I, I thought that when it was founded, it was not clear to the people founding it how the institute will survive and for how long it will survive, because this model was unknown. But the aspiration given to us was not just survive, but thrive. Not just survive. Surviving is not, not, is not enough, obviously. So how to do that? So I think the model, I was not, and I, was, I came here in 2000 about when the institution was two plus years old, so I'm not part of the very, very early discussion. But I think the, the, the decision taken was to connect closely with the society, with industry being the major component, okay? The state government was solidly behind it. Uh, so the state government started it, they gave us the land and buildings, but as Ajay Sani says, it was done in such a way that 
there is no one file in the state government. You can search all of state government, there will not be a file that is connects directly with IIIT Hyderabad. Again, you know, the insurance, 15 years later, you will thank me, that insurance, maybe. That was a, that was a reason that there was not one file, okay? So I just want to, you know, why did this institute start, it? the state government and NASCOM? I just want to show you some slides. I don't want to give you a bhashan with slides like professors are used to. This is different kind of slide. Uh, so here is a, here is a slide from 1997, April 20th, 28th, Devang Mehta, the founder, president of, uh, or executive director and called of, of NASCOM. Proposal for Indian Institute of Information Technology at Hyderabad. Of course, it talks about, uh, the, you know, there are a few uh, points there. One is a survey conducted in the US, vendors rated India as number one for outsourcing software requirements amongst all competing countries. Of course, 25 years later, this looks like an obvious thing to do. But in 25 years ago, it, I don't think it was obvious and it was, it was found by some study. And NASCOM study, also or AP government study for NASCOM also indicated need to improve quality of education, okay? Have manpower development because that was short at that point for if the IT industry had to grow, it needs more qualified manpower. And the possibility of forming an a, a elite institution in Hyderabad. Uh, so that's the, the first slide, Triple IT in Hyderabad. Of course, those days it's called Indian Institute of Information Technology. The name changed to international out of some other compulsion because we are not a government institute. And objective is to be one of the premier global institute for providing education and research in IT. That's what we took it as. And there are many more slides uh, detailing the, the model, etc. But one of the important things comes to, you know, when you come to it is industry participation. You have to have strong connect with industry. You see industry word everywhere, okay? The specialized courses for industry, industry conducting courses here, industry sponsoring research, and many other things. Okay, and uh, industry funding, it said one-time funding of certain kind, faculty chairs, scholarships, equipment, labs, and continuous funding for short-term courses, R&D through the institute, sponsored research, and so on. So this is to 1997. And I also came across a, a, a set of slides, you know, pro uh, I think the government requested Professor Vishwanatham of IAAC to help with the academic model. I think he spent a lot of time, one day he told me that he spent a lot of time, he made this presentation. There are 20 slides. I'm just showing you four slides. Uh, the, the goal, of course, is to be the, uh, uh, to grow IT science, so be the major educational and research institution. But one key step was industry schools, you know, the corporate school or industry school name comes here by now. And uh, you know, that's all. So you can see this 1998 design was to have industry very strongly connected. We have that building, now the, the Vindhya building, this, this building here was called corporate school buildings. All the, the five plus one, six corporate schools were housed there. That building is very illustrious uh, history. That building is the, f the, the, op the project office of ISB. We just found where it is. We are going to put a big plaque there and, and claim big royalty from ISB. There's a pro ISB's project office was there. NISG started there. RGUKT started there. Uh, and several JKC and what is now Task started there. So it's a it's a building with a, with a with a great glorious past and history. So this is how it started. Uh, corporate schools by leading industry on campus. It's a very revolutionary model. Uh, it gave IIIT a lot of visibility and a lot of connect, a lot of confidence to go ahead to go about our business. Of course, over the years, the IT industry really grew in that early 2000s and models changed. All the company, our original corporate school, IBM was the first, I'm told, next is Metamore, then uh, Oracle, uh, Micro Microsoft was, so Microsoft also, they, Microsoft didn't want to start a school. Uh, apparently, they, they only operated through their uh, agents or their, their uh, partners and they didn't want to school directly, but they did even better. They set up a faculty chair uh, at the institute in 99 or you know, that time frame, which is probably the first faculty chair ever anywhere in the country, you know, of that kind. And 98, even though Microsoft didn't start a school here, they started their development center, IDC, in 98. 98 was a, was a good year for, for India. IBM research started in, in IRL, 
started in Delhi in 1998. Microsoft started their first offshore development center outside of Redmond in Hyderabad. And our students, our faculty were engaging with them, our students especially, were working, started working with them. Some of them started working with them at the end of first year on some part-time job and continued working for 20 years with Microsoft. Okay. So they, even though they didn't start a, a corporate school on campus, they did even better than that. So this was thinking way ahead of time. I mean, having corporate schools embedded into the campus. Uh, and it didn't, you know, the, while it was, it worked out very well for us, the original model of having research or a technical activity combined with the institute did not happen so much. Now we are 25 years later, we are in 2023. The world has changed a lot. The companies have changed a lot. India, Hyderabad has changed a lot. There's so much more... Uh, you know, activity now, no, as they say, there is no product, no software product can be made in the world today without India inside. Like they have Intel inside logo, the India inside. And all companies, I mean, this is an old story now, not even new. Uh, all companies were asking, what is your Bangalore strategy or whatever? In, the boards were asking, what is your India strategy for the last 15 years maybe? And now the startup uh, strategies or for, for India is the, is the new game. So I think this was a very good beginning. Probably we are all far ahead of time, but this is the time to define a new model of such close engagement that was env envisaged back in 98, how to put in practice in 2023, 25 years later. We are especially glad to have all the representatives of those, the, the original six uh, schools here, but also the corporate school, the founders, but also, like Ramesh said, 70 or other industry here. So we, would, we should now together use this opportunity to define a new model where industry and IIIT works together very closely for mutual benefit. I think that can be done and that must be done. The society has changed a lot. And again, once again, this institution is for the society, of the society and by the society, which includes all of you. So I invite you to, to be a, a, a partner in, in, a, in a model that is right for 2023 from going forward. Thank you all for coming here and let's work together. Thank you.